Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. I'm so excited for this one because it's gonna be a total first impressions. Like when it comes to those videos, I get so giddy because I love trying out new fragrances. And when I get to film my reaction, it is the best. Now I'm terrible at holding myself back from smelling a fragrance that I get in my hand to film it. But this time I'm like, you know what? Let me let me give my first impression. So I am gonna be reviewing first impressions of the Demi Rollins fragrance in collaboration with Fragrance Dubois. Now this is the first time that I'm trying out any fragrance from the house and also her collaboration so if you guys are excited for this video then definitely stay tuned as always don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel my name is karina and i would absolutely love it if you join the family hit the subscribe button turn on your post notifications and uh why not share this video with anyone that loves fragrances okay share it whatsapp facebook instagram do what you gotta do okay and let's get into this video so for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with demi but if you're into the fragrance community here on youtube you definitely know who she is she is one of the top fragrance reviewers here on youtube and she went ahead and collaborated with fragrance dubois now i did not pick up the full size bottle and let me explain why i was very 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 tempted to pick up her fragrance first of all the bottle looks incredible the notes sound amazing and also the way she described the fragrance sounded like something that i would enjoy but the thing is when you are in canada and you purchase something online it can really add up and get super duper expensive and from other people's experiences that did order the fragrance and live here in Canada the price the end price when it comes to conversion shipping and then getting taxed at the door it almost comes up to six hundred dollars like I just felt like that was a really high price point for me to do a blind buy. So I wanted to get my hands on a sample, which I did right over here, thanks to the amazing group <laughs> on Facebook that I'm in. If you guys don't know about this group, I will link it down below. If you're in Canada, join it now, okay? So I was able to get myself a sample. This is a five mil sample of her fragrance simply because I just couldn't justify doing a $600 blind buy. You know what I mean? That That's that's expensive. She had an initial launch during the holidays and then it came back recently. I believe it's still in stock. I will link it down below for anyone who is interested. Um, hopefully it is still in stock because I know it was pretty much in high demand. A lot of people really wanted to get their hands on the fragrance. So here is that sample and let's just go ahead and try it out but before we do let's actually talk about the notes i'm on fragrantica and here the main accords is warm spicy caramel sweet vanilla aromatic powdery musk cinnamon coffee and tobacco if you have been watching me for a while you know that this sounds like something that i would absolutely die for so these notes sound like a really kind of gourmand fragrance something that's going to be sweet deep a little spicy that's what i am expecting like a more sexy fragrance if you will i have pretty high expectations for this scent i mean demi her collection is definitely wild and looks completely amazing she seems like she has tested out so many different scents so i have high expectations for this fragrance seeing i don't have the bottle with me i am gonna put up a screenshot or some sort of video if i can get someone to send me a video of the bottle now from what i've seen online and in videos the bottle is absolutely beautiful like their fragrance bottles looks very luxe and elevated and from what i've heard it definitely has that feel also when you have it in your hands so i definitely love love the way that the bottle looks it very much looks luxe and expensive so that's kind of like my take on the bottle scenes seeing that i don't have it in my hand i can't speak too much to it just what i've seen online now my little sample is over here i actually just got this sample in the mail um today <laughs> i got it today so i am dying to try this out and i have a little 
paper here that I'm going to try on paper and then I'm actually going to try it on my skin. Now, mind you, this is going to be a first impression. So I can't talk on the longevity, the projection and all that stuff. It's just going to be on what I think of it right now. Now, if you do see a bottle on the video, on one of my videos that pops up, then you know this was a good, good one. You know what I'm saying? Because she's hella expensive. So here's my little sample. Like I said, I got a five mil sample and even the five mil sample was kind of pricey. <laughs> But seeing that the price point of the actual fragrance to get it here in Canada is so expensive, I totally get why um, a sample would be quite pricey. So, and uh, I love the way that they package this. Everything was super secure. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it on paper. And I'm going to judge this not in the eyes of it was a content creator that created this fragrance, but really in the oh my god oh honey oh my god okay that literally stopped me it's in the air it's in my face like it's just surrounding me oh okay okay let me let me compose myself let me compose myself because that i was I, I i honestly was not expecting that kick right in my face but when i say kick i mean it in all the good ways like do you see this smile coming on my face like whoa I literally don't even need this paper because the scent is 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 surrounding me. It feels like it's surrounding me. The cardamom is there. You're picking up the cardamom. The vanilla, oh my goodness, the vanilla is creamy. It's delicious. The cardamom's still very strong. Like I'm still picking up even though it's the top note, I'm picking up. The pimento note, it's it's there, but it's not as potent as that cardamom note. Oh my goodness. It's reminding me of a mix of a fragrance, but I can't pinpoint what it is. It is reminding me of something, but it's gorgeous, guys. Oh, wow. It is gorgeous. It's spicy, but a very mild spiciness like it's not a heavy peppery type of fragrance whatsoever it's spicy but kind of like mild and spicy in the way where you know when you have like baking spices like cinnamon nutmeg cardamom those kind of spicy notes that's what you get from this not so much like a peppery spicy do you get what i'm saying Oh my God, the vanilla, the vanilla is divine in here. Like this is definitely a top vanilla scent right here. Mmm, the caramel. I don't find it overly sweet. It's definitely a sweet fragrance, but I'm not finding this overly sweet. Um, I think this is supposed to be unisex. I could be completely wrong, but to me, it definitely leans a little more on the feminine side because I'm picking up a lot more sweetness. Mind you, this is on paper. I am going to test it out on my skin, but... Okay, it's drying down. I'm still getting the cardamom. The vanilla is still there. The caramel... It's a very creamy caramel. It's not too dense. It's not too heavy, which is great. You know what I mean? I find this scent would be perfect for fall and winter. Summertime, I mean, if you have those cooler evenings, you can definitely get away with it. But during the day, you might find this a little too sweet. Might, you know, some sweet fragrances work perfectly in the summertime. I'd have to ch test it out myself. Mm. Oh my God. I, I'm honestly, guys, honestly, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this scent. Like I am really, really intrigued. It's, it's, it's the type of scent that I love. And I'm really, really enjoying that. It's not overly complex. It's a scent that is still quite approachable, especially for those who who are not used to very complex um, niche fragrances. It has characteristics and it has depth, you know what I mean? But it's not overly complex to the point that you're like guessing what's going on. You can totally understand the essence of this fragrance. Does that make sense? 
oh my god this is addictive it's it's very addictive it's quite potent i find because that spray that i did here literally took over the room so i do find that this is a very potent scent um i feel like this is one that's going to leave a really beautiful trail mind you this is the first impression i'd have to test it out like actually wearing this out of the house or around my husband to see how it wears throughout the day but just that initial spray was like wow it was truly a wow moment i'm not kidding you and this is my speaking from the standpoint of someone that loves fragrances that has tested quite a few different ones this is beautiful. I'll be completely honest. Is it the most unique scent? No, it's not the most unique scent. And honestly, I'm not on that bandwagon to find the most unique scent. I want a scent to smell good. I want a scent to be pleasant for those who are around me. And this one, this is good. This is good. Mm, 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 mm. The more it dries down, I can see the unisex vibe coming along, but it's still quite sweet in my opinion. The cardamom note is still quite prominent to me. The vanilla, the vanilla ain't going nowhere. Honestly, this vanilla is beautiful. And definitely picking up the coffee. I am picking up the coffee. The more that it dries down, I'm picking it up. But it's not, it's not overly done. Yeah, it's becoming a little bit more unisex the more that it dries down, for sure. So I can kind of see a man pulling this one off. I'm getting way more of that coffee note as it dries down. Wow, I will say that I definitely prefer the opening over the dry down. The opening just like, it literally blew me away. Like that opening, I need I need her to come out with a second fragrance that carries that opening throughout the entire wear of this fragrance because now that it's drying down it's it's slightly changing so it's not like a linear fragrance it definitely uh develops um as it as it dries down you're still gonna get like that opening but to me you get more of the deepness of the scent you're gonna get more of that coffee it just becomes a little deeper and starts to become more unisex than in the opening the opening i found that it was like feminine all the way but now that it's drying down it's becoming way more uh unisex to me it, it has a bit of a smoky vibe also maybe that i'm getting that from the coffee note but on this paper i'm getting a little bit more of a smoky vibe i'm gonna go ahead and spray it on my skin wow i still smell it around me yeah, this is a heavy hitter. This is this is this has to be a heavy hitter. And I'm hoping that this lasts for a while. Oh, that opening. That I think it's the pimento because that opening is stunning. Mm. As soon as he spray, like that was one spray. Oh my god. <laughs> that was one spray and it's literally enveloped the entire room. The entire room. It's definitely giving me sexy vibes it's giving me romance vibes evening vibes you know what i mean it, it, it's it's very alluring okay yeah mm. yeah on the skin i'm picking up a lot more of the richness of this fragrance it's a lot darker it's deeper the coffee note is quite prominent on my skin it's kind of like reminded me of like three different fragrances. For some reason, when I'm smelling this, I'm getting a little bit of Killian Angel Shares. I'm getting a little bit of um, Penthaligon's, what is that fragrance called? It is called Babylon. And I'm getting a little bit of black opium. Is it weird? I don't know. But those are the fragrances that are kind of like coming to my mind when I smell this one. Mm. Oh, it's potent. I feel like you don't need to overspray this one because it's definitely heavy. Like I, I, I'm, I'm feeling it. Just those couple of sprays, I am feeling that this scent is quite heavy. Now I'm in my filming space, and this is 
a quite tight room. And so I feel like if you're going to be in a closed room, don't go ham with this fragrance because I can really smell this everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. And I've only sprayed this like what, twice? Oh. Wow, but I wasn't expecting this. This is good. This is, it's beautiful. It's the type of fragrance that I like. Something very bold, very um, sexy, seductive, deep. It's rich, it's spicy. There's vanilla, there's sweetness in there. It's a little bit of complexity, but not too much. It's not taking me out of my comfort zone. It's not weird. It's still quite pleasing to wear that's the that's the the word that I was looking for and again I definitely love the opening of this fragrance the dry down it's still great it's still great but the opening is quite impressive <laughs> it's quite impressive like that opening makes me want to go buy the entire bottle who like listen you gotta give respect where it is deserved and i gotta say she did an incredible job coming up with this scent like really pinpointing what she was looking for everything is blended very nicely very very nicely and it sits gorgeously on the skin if you love your deep seductive scents that are rich gourmand um alluring date night evening you know little black dress this is it. This is good. This is really good. Is it worth the price point? A lot of people have that question and I will be honest. Listen, we're talking about a niche house. So you're getting a different quality. You know what I mean? Mind you, this is the first time that I am trying out Fragrance de Bois and not every niche house is incredible. Not every niche house is worth the price point. I'll be totally honest. Sometimes you are paying for the name but um you got to look at the ingredients you know how are they sourced uh you got to look at the packaging how it's presented and all of that stuff to really determine the price point of the fragrance if you think that it is um up to par and from what i've seen i think that the house is absolutely beautiful uh the presentation the packaging the fragrance alone is really blowing me away like the quality of this fragrance is a pretty amazing just in the opening i want to see how it dries down on my skin how long it lasts for me to be really um really honest with me saying it's worth the price point you know what i mean so that's the end of this video i really really hope you enjoyed it i didn't think it was going to take me what 25 minutes talking about one fragrance but i really wanted to give you guys my honest opinion my true first impressions and i'm just here to tell you i'm really really impressed really impressed love that opening and that fragrance is literally all over this room like i cannot spray anything else because it's taking over the entire room so thank you so so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this one leave your comments down below i would love to know your thoughts on this fragrance if you've already tried it out as well as the house um are there favorites for you is there something else that i should try i definitely want to try out more um because this has impressed me so leave your comments down below and i will see you all in the next video ciao